Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this is the new for 22 highly updated GMC Sierra 1500 with all new looks up front and a very improved dash. The real question we have for this truck is does this finally live up to the upscale interiors of Ram, Toyota, and Ford? Stay tuned to find out. All right, gearheads, let's talk about what is under the hood of this particular model here with me today. It is General Motors' new 3-liter Duramax diesel. That's right, you can get a diesel in a 1500 from General Motors. While this particular one uh, and all 3-liter diesels don't have just tons of horsepower, so think 277 for the Duramax. What it does have is 6.2 liter V8 matching 460 pound feet of torque. So this thing can tow, can haul, and you can option it up to 13,000 pounds max towing with this diesel. So what used to be heavy duty territory can now be done in a 1500. Taking a look at the updated styling for 2022, it's hard to miss this very pronounced, very large, very updated grille that I think looks so much better than the outgoing model. Lots of chrome on this SLT Texas edition, but that's what you get here in Texas with a Texas edition. Very shiny, very blingy up front. You still get GMC's C channel design uh, LED headlights with uh, LED turn signals, LED running lights, all good LED stuff up here. They look much more integrated and part of the vehicle and just give it a much higher and more classy appearance up front. You do get air curtains to help with airflow around the front of this big truck and you get LED fog lights as well. Toyota famously ditched their tow hooks, but GMC keeps theirs with the upgrade. And because this is a diesel, you get a convenient engine block heater hookup right here on the front of the bumper. Very good and very updated styling for 2022. All right, moving to the side of this 22 Sierra 1500, you'll realize not a whole lot has changed from the pre-refresh model. So if you liked the pre-refresh, I think you'll like the 22s as well. One nice call out I like is even though this is a fake fender vent, uh, it is how GMC denotes that this is a Texas edition and how it has the three liter diesel under the hood. One of a few spots that'll help you figure out what is lurking under the hood of this one. The Texas edition sign also has some built-in Western look to it that I really like. And it's actually embossed, so it has a little bit of texture to it. Very nice. This Texas edition does come with upgraded 20 inch wheels and uh, some Bridgestone dueler tires that I really like. These are 20s and they look rather aggressive for the, uh, let's face it, this one's probably gonna live a lot of its life on road. You get more chrome down here on the side, chrome steps, chrome door handles, uh, chrome mirror caps, chrome around the windows. It is a Texas edition after all. This particular one is a crew cab with the shorter crew cab bed and chrome 4x4 back here letting you know that yes, you did get a four wheel drive pickup truck. All told, very classy styling here on the side, but not much updated from the previous uh, generation or previous year models. Back here at the back of this 22-1500, some uh, more telltale signs that there is a diesel under the hood. This is an SLT and would typically get uh, General Motors forklift style uh, rear cutouts in the bumper for the exhaust, but because it is a diesel, you get a diesel exhaust down here coming out of the passenger side. LED taillights back here, and even though we covered it in our 2500 heavy duty video, I'm going to go ahead and show you this MultiPro tailgate and just 
how good it works. This one does not have a spray and bed liner, but uh, does have the integrated LED lights back here in the back. Would make for a very good and competent work vehicle. And even without the spray and bed liner, you don't have to worry about punching holes because this one is made of high strength steel. No aluminum here. One more nice touch for getting into the back of this 1500. Not only do you have the multi-pro tailgate, but you do have these improved side steps over the previous generation uh, Sierra pickup that are much larger. They house uh, General Motors blind spot sensor, so you don't have any dead space here in this LED taillight, and you get a nice grab handle up here up top. Makes it very easy to get in and out of the back of your pickup without dropping that tailgate. All right, sitting behind the wheel of the 22 GMC Sierra, the story is all the upgrades to the dash. This is now on par with the likes of the Ram 1500, the new 22 Tundra, and the Ford F-150. General Motors is emphasizing the width of the vehicle with this horizontally mounted screen. While other brands are doing vertically mounted screens, think Ram 1500 with their 12 inch vertical or the Ford F-150 Lightning with their vertical screen, GM wants to and has committed to emphasizing how wide their vehicles are uh, with this horizontal mounted screen. This does use Google's new infotainment system, so if you're used to previous General Motors systems, this will be a little bit different with this little helper screen here along the side that has four different functions. I think that trailer status will be especially key for those pulling a trailer and digital analog clock there. You do still get all of the same camera views as before so bird's eye 360 a front and rear mounted camera here you get a top down view with dynamic turn lines you can see the front wheels the rear wheels and that trailer hitch specifically to make uh, hitching up your trailer very quick and easy very nice infotainment there above this home row of buttons which include uh, gm's fart button here that drops all four windows with the push of a button you know to let out hot air if you need it you also can drop the tailgate uh, disable auto start stop all that good stuff there very good quick and easy to use climate control here with ventilated seats that do remember every time you cycle the engine what setting they were on usb a usb c to hook up to the infotainment trailer brake and then you do get an electronic gear selector Lower trims, like elevation and lower, will get a column mounted shifter, but you get an electronic shifter here. And I will say when I first saw this, I was a little skeptical, but this is one of the nicer units uh, in that I have sampled. Uh, you push a button here on the side, pull back for drive, push for reverse, and there's a park button on top. Quite a bit of storage here, and then you get a digital uh, cockpit here in front of you. And that has four different modes that you can cycle through. I like this classic view. You get a little version of your truck here telling you if you're in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive and what drive mode you are in. There's normal spo sport, tow haul, that kind of stuff. And then in your speedometer over here, you get a large digital compass. You can com customize this center section here as well. The uh, center console is very nice and has been redesigned which hosts a Qi wireless charger in a very convenient spot right here that actually kind of dips in to this center console as well. Very nice and very upgraded interior that makes this one of the best in the segment, if not the best. Let me know down in the comments. Let's check out that back seat really quickly. All right, climbing in the back seat, even behind myself at 510, it's an embarrassment of space back here. I've got no problem uh, with knee room, leg room. I can even happily cross my legs back here just fine. Do get two climate control vents back here, a USB-A and a USB-C, cup holders on the backside, as well as a fold down 
center armrest with cup holders and a removable rubber insert for cleaning when your kids are a little messy. Map pockets on both seats. And then I will hop out to show you some storage options. So there is a 60-40 split bench that can be operated without any latches or levers. Underfloor storage. Remember that trailer, uh, not the trailer brake, but the engine block heater. Uh, that's the cord for it right there. N nice place to store it as well as stuff for changing your spare tire. Can fold down without pulling any latches or levers. And then there is General Motors nifty in-seat storage. So the backrest pops out and there's just a little bit of added storage back there. That's enough of the inside. Why don't we hop in this thing and see how it drives? All right, hopping behind the wheel of the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Again, you've got this digital shifter, push the button on the side, pull back, and you are good to go. I am loving this new updated everything on the dash here. You've got this fake wood that is obviously fake but it is not the most obvious fake wood I have ever seen. Lower trims do get a shinier wood. Uh, this looks much more realistic and then the new Google interface uh, it's definitely new and edgy and a little bit different but uh, the digital cockpit back here is like I said earlier, perhaps my favorite. We've tested the new Ford F-150, which I feel just went too digital with their gauge cluster. This is a nice blend of analog and digital, and I like it quite a bit. I'm not gonna go too much into uh, too much of the details of this particular one because we have driven a 2500 uh, Sierra as well. I want to really feature what is new and different for this exact one and that really is the updated dash and features here. I, I mentioned the ventilated front seats. I love that it actually remembers uh, where you had it set the last time the engine was running. So huge kudos there. The uh, 3 liter Duramax diesel with 277 horsepower. It's got some pull to it with that 460 pound-feet of torque and will propel you down the road just fine. Uh, the visibility out of here, because we are in a full-size truck that is very boxy, is very good. I do have blind spot monitors on this SLT version, so again, helping me see all around me. In a parking lot, would also do really good. You've got the 360 camera and everything there. This does have a host of General Motors safety technology built into it, including this seat. It is the safety seat as they have deemed it at General Motors and will vibrate as you drift out of your lane accordingly. So if I'm drifting a little too far left, my left side will vibrate and too far right, the right side. If I'm about to hit something, the whole thing shakes and lets me know something's up just to get my attention. So very nice and uh, convenient to have there. As far as drivability, I'm going to try something new here on the channel, and that is real world YouTube or real world U-turn testing. So here I am in the middle of a divided three lane on either side highway. I'm gonna do a U-turn into uh, opposing traffic with their three lanes of traffic and a divider in the middle and see just how well this does for me. But while we wait on traffic to let up in order for me to do that, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the features in here. The layout is very easy to sit in and figure out almost immediately. The engine start stop button is a little low, but is very clearly marked. The volume knob, kudos for actually having a knob, is a little on the small side but it is very handy to where you would need it. There is a physical home button here as well that will always take you back to the home screen. Lots of storage including back behind the screen here as well. You do get some gloss black, piano black, whatever you want to call it, which I'm not a huge fan of because of fingerprints and dirt and things like that. And this time of year here in East Texas, pollen. So if you drive with your windows down at all, 
pollen will build up on there. On the left side over here, you get your light controls and your four wheel drive controls. I'm in two wheel drive, about to do my U-turn test. And wow, very tight turning radius. So uh, I am back in the far left lane. There is a little bit of a um, wider median here on this particular road, but this could handle a two lane, uh, non divided, non extra wide median U-turn, no problem. So uh, real kudos on getting this big vehicle such a tight turning radius. So yeah, we can look at numbers and see what the actual turning radius is, but living with it on the road, when you miss your turn, uh, what's that gonna do to you? As far as the ride and comfort in here, it's a truck, you know it's a truck, but build quality is so much improved over General Motors of yesteryear. There are a little bit of creaks here with the new plastics, but I'm sure that'll get better as they figure out this new design. Otherwise, it's creak and rattle free in here. It is beyond quiet. You have uh, very insulated interior as well as all four wheel wells have sound deadening, sound deadening material in them. Yeah, even the ones back in the back over the bed have sound deadening material on them. So it's a very quiet ride. I'm on textured pavement right now and it's still more quiet than some cars that I've been in lately. Very impressed with the ride of this one. This particular one does not have General Motors rear camera mirror and I'm okay with that. It's quick, easy to use. It is auto dimming, so that's a nice feature as well. Otherwise, the real story is this improved dash and there is a lot to love. You even have a secondary glove box hidden right here underneath the passenger vent controls. There's a nice little button that opens that leather wrapped panel. All told, very impressed. Uh, kudos on the great job, General Motors. I like it and uh, very tempted to keep this one for myself. At nearly 63,000 as this model sits right here, uh, this is definitely not the cheapest of pickup trucks, but with inflation going up and the cost of everything, including fuel going up, this three liter Duramax diesel may be your best option if you're looking for something new that can really tow and haul. With heavy duty like towing numbers, uh, this is really an appealing package. And with 26 MPG on the highway, this is a, a fuel saver for a full size pickup truck. Whether or not this particular one is right for you, well, that's up to you. But I do wanna say a huge thank you to my friends at Hall Buick GMC for loaning this to me for the day. If you wanna check out this rig or anything else in their inventory, check the link down in the description below. But it's time that I get this back to them. So until next time, gearheads, bye. GM's three liter turbo diesel, blah, blah, blah. An all new dash and a very upgraded and upscale. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm just waiting to turn. Cars everywhere. Even the blinker sounds better than old General Motors products. So they've thought of things. Nice. Elbows, good seeing position. I feel like king of the road. Very good. I like it. <laughs>